Hi, I'm Laura with Mersive, and thanks for tuning in to see what's new in 3.1. We've made a couple enterprise changes, including the ability to interact with SDS through the API, increased control over a WAP mode, and the ability to export display information from the Solstice dashboard. However, the thing you're most likely to notice first is our completely redesigned welcome screen. We've made a few changes. We've streamlined the user instructions and moved them over into the right-hand side. And now we have a reactive screen key. This is dynamic, so when someone initiates a connection with this display, this will actually grow to become more visible. The background is also a little bit different. This is now a fully dynamic slideshow of up to six images, again customizable through the Solstice dashboard. We hope that you love this, but if you've made significant customizations to Solstice previously and want them to stay exactly as is, we've made it pretty easy to revert to the classic welcome screen again in the Solstice dashboard. Also on this welcome screen, you see one of the most anticipated features of 3.1. We have introduced room scheduling through calendar integration. We currently support Office 365 and Microsoft Exchange servers and can accept meeting information through the Open Control API. We support personal accounts as well as delegation and impersonation mailboxes. So if you're like us and already schedule your rooms through Outlook, it is incredibly easy to get that information up on the board. You can share just in use versus not in use. You can share the meeting organizer and or the title of the meeting. If this is your own display in an office, it makes perfect sense to have all this information up. For larger conference rooms that multiple people are scheduling, you may have guests coming in and out, it might make more sense to withhold the meeting name and just show who has the room at what time. This in-use versus available information is also available to users in their app. So if you decide to have an impromptu meeting, rather than running around losing steam looking for a meeting room, you can see exactly what's available right in your app. The 3.1 release is big. We have streamlined the workflow, given you several new ways to integrate Solstice with your existing in-room solutions, and introduced several new features that we know you've been waiting for, like control over the channel of the WAP, and of course, room scheduling via calendar integration. We welcome your feedback, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next video.